Trophy Prep and St. Mary's renewed their rivalry this year for the 57th meeting. The two teams used to play each other every year until 2012 when the competitiveness went away from Brophy blowing them out year after year. However, last year, the rivalry started again. With Brophy winning 49-0 in 2021, it was expected that they would win again. Before the game, though, both teams went on the field to honor St. Mary's and Brophy Prep alum Tim Stanford, who passed away in April at the age of 69. I mean, we're Catholic schools, and so obviously God matters, and it's something that we believe in. And so to be able to start with the prayer, it's, it's consistent. If you come to any of the Brophy games, St. Mary's games, you're going to see that. Stanford played football at St. Mary's, leading the team to a couple state championships, and then later coached at Brophy until 2002. Stanford's wife, Ginger, attended the game and did the coin toss. It's a huge rivalry game, you know, it's just important, it's nice to have, and obviously, uh, you know, the coach that passed away, it's, you know, it's a nice game to have, it's really fun. The game started off slow, but Brophy quarterback Billy Eastup made a nice third down throw to move the chains and set up the Broncos in the red zone. David Lopez was able to capitalize on a three-yard run, ending the first quarter at 7-0. Every touchdown, shirts were being shot out by a robot made by the Brophy Robotics team. The Broncos didn't stop there. They scored two more touchdowns in the second quarter, making the lead 21 to nothing. Lopez got his second touchdown of the game, and star wide receiver Leighton Duncan scored off of a one-yard out route. Duncan is a three-star wide receiver with offers from Nevada, Idaho State, and NAU. The scoring from Brophy didn't stop at halftime, as they got out to a 35-0 lead late in the fourth quarter. But on a last-minute drive, St. Mary's scored a touchdown, making sure they did not walk away with the goose egg on the scoreboard. The Broncos student section was going wild the whole game, representing their school well, and even a bunch of alumni came back to visit. Um, sometimes you think it might be lost in the players, but then when you look around in the stands and you see the amount of players that came back, I mean, there's a couple coaches here we played against last year, last week at Centennial that were here for this game because they played here um, at Brophy or they played at St. Mary's. And uh, so it, it just matters when you have good coaches that care and love and serve. And, and so you want to do something out of it. I, it's, you know, I'm, I'm a St. Mary's guy, you know, so mm. this is always a big game. Uh, but, you know, honestly, We'll put this one to bed after we watch film and uh, you know, make some improvements and hopefully make some strides and then uh, we'll go from there. Due to the high attendance at the game, the rivalry is here to stay and the coaches love bringing the community together every year. Uh, it was fun. A lot of people were here, people that were from like alumni, coaches, past players, and just kids. And it, was, it was a good environment. Brophy Prep gets its first win this year and will be playing at Highland on Friday. St. Mary's is 1-1 one and, one and will be at Northwest Kristen.